Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Rohit Tech. Today in this video I am going to show you, how to configure secondary DNS. What is secondary DNS? Secondary DNS create a copy of a zone that exists on another server. This option helps balance the processing load of primary servers and provides fault tolerance. This is our server manager. Our computer name is, Node2. This server is member of default work group. Now I am set the IP address of this server. Let's click on it. Go to Ethernet properties. Select TCP IP version 4 and select properties. Click use the following IP address. Fill IP address 172.16.0.2 And subnet mask. Enter the primary DNS IP address in the preferred DNS server. Our primary DNS IP address is 172.16.0.1. Fill alternate DNS server address, it should be same as IP address. Click OK. Click close. Let's close network connection. Now I am going to install DNS server. Click on dashboard. Click add roles and feature. Click next. Select role based and feature based installation then click next. Click next. Click DNS server. Click add features. It is giving us the warning of no static IP address where found in this computer. While we have configured the server static IP address. Then we will ignore this warning. Click on continue. Click next. Click next. Click next. Click restart the destination server automatically if required. Click yes. Click install. It will take some time to install roll. DNS server roll is installed. Click close. Now I am going to configure secondary DNS server. Click tools. Click DNS. Let's maximize it, select node 2. Let's expand on it. Right click on forward lookup zone then click new zone. Click next. Select secondary zone. Click next. Type primary DNS name, under the zone name. Click next. Type the master DNS means primary DNS server IP address on this server. Our primary DNS IP address is 172.16.0.1. Click next. Click finish. Now I am going to configure reverse lookup zone. Right click on reverse lookup zone. Select new zone. Click next. Select secondary zone. Click next. Click next. Type network ID. Type network ID, 172.16. Click next. Type the master DNS means primary DNS server IP address on this server. Our primary DNS IP address is 172.16.0.1. Click next. Click finish. Our forward lookup zone and reverse lookup zone is configured. Now we check whether the secondary DNS has taken the backup or not. As you can see, secondary DNS is not backed up. If secondary DNS is not taking backup from primary DNS, so uh, some changes have to be done in the primary DNS server. Go to primary DNS server machine. This is our primary DNS. Go to domain name stb.local properties. Click start of authority tab. 
change some settings. Refresh interval, change 15 minute to 1 seconds. Retry interval, 10 minutes to 1 seconds. Click apply. Click on general. Already selected non-secure and secure dynamic update. Click zone transfer. Select option, to any server. Click on name server tab. Click edit. Click Resolve. Click OK. Click Apply. Click OK. In the same way, we have to do the settings in the Reverse Lookup Zone as well. We have made the same settings in the reverse lookup zone as well. Go to run. Type GP update. Press enter. Go to secondary DNS machine. Go to run. Type GP update. Press enter. Refresh the DNS. If the secondary DNS server is not backing up even after refreshing, then restart the server or go to services and restart the DNS service. Now I am going to restart DNS services. Go to run. Type services.msc. Press enter. Find out the DNS server services. Right click and select restart. Our DNS services is refreshed. Refresh the DNS manager. As you can see. Now our DNS is backed up. Now I am going to test primary and secondary DNS server is proper working or not. Go to primary DNS server machine. Create new host A for testing purpose. Click add host. Click OK. Click done. Our host A name test is created. Go to secondary DNS machine. Refresh the DNS manager. As you can see, the host A test that we created on the primary DNS has been updated on the secondary DNS. This means our primary DNS and secondary DNS is proper working together. So viewers in this video you can learn, how to install and configure secondary DNS on Windows Server 2022. Thanks for watching this video. Please like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest updates.